All right, Connor here with your workout for Saturday. Question of the day, who would win a fight, uh, Silverback Gorilla or Kodiak Grizzly Bear? I have no idea. I don't think those would ever meet in the wild. So warm up today, four rounds, 20 second PVC prone raise and hold, six jump squats and five shoulder shifts per side. So no need to rush through this, just a warm up, just moving around, get your body temperature up. So the PVC prone raise, I'm going to <clears throat> lay down with my chest on the floor. I can look up towards the PVC and then from here, raise my arms up, hold for 20 seconds. Um, you want to think about keeping your elbows locked, so squeeze your triceps, and then try to just raise from the shoulders. All right, next one, jump squats, nice and controlled on the way down, and then jump out of the bottom, and then when you land, you go right into your next squat. And then last is shoulder shifts. So you can do these in a push-up position. So good plank, quads, butt, and belly tight, and then shift to one side. All right, you can just pick your fingers up, or if you feel good, you can shift all the way and pick your hand up off the ground. So workout today, we've got a partner workout if possible. So that means either if you're with someone quarantined or if you're on our Zoom class, a partner, you up with someone virtually. Um, if you don't have a partner, what you're gonna do is just rest the same amount of time it took you to complete a round, and you'll do that throughout the workout. So first part is 12 minutes. You're going to do six overhead squats, and then 12 V-ups, and then six more overhead squats, and then 12 push-ups. So you and your partner will alternate full rounds, meaning partner one does 6, 12, 6, 12, and then partner two does 6, 12, 6, 12, back and forth for 12 minutes. You'll then rest two minutes, and then same format, another 12-minute AMRAP, six hang power cleans, 12 lateral hops, six hang power cleans, and 12 shoulder overhead. So again, alternating full rounds that your partner scores rounds and reps. So... The overhead squats, um, if you have a barbell, make sure these are light so that you can do all six in a row, both times, right? And then the uh, V-ups, right? If you can't keep your legs straight, then you can always bend the knee and do tuck-ups. And then push-ups, these should also be quick. One set here, so elevate your hands if you need to in order to get these done unbroken. Hang power cleans in the next AMRAP. Um, similar to the overhead squats, these should be relatively light and quick so that you can do six in a row. And then when you get back to it, another six in a row. The hops, right? You're gonna jump over whatever object you're using for the power cleans. So if that's a barbell, you're jumping back and forth over the bar. Um, if you don't feel comfortable jumping, then you can find something smaller. Maybe even it's a line on the ground that you're gonna jump over back and forth um, and then the shoulder to overhead these are we're looking to do these unbroken too so either um, lower the weight and the hang power cleans will be a little easier or you can uh, use a different object maybe you've got some dumbbells that you can do your shoulder overhead with if you're doing single arm variation depending on the weight if it's light do 12 on each arm if you've got a heavier weight do six on each arm for the single arm variation. So you got plenty of options here, but the idea is you just want to get through the rounds unbroken and relatively quickly. So let's see what these movements look like. I'm going to demo them with a kettlebell just to show you that you can do the whole workout with a kettlebell. So the overhead squats, all right, I'm going to snatch the kettlebell up overhead. I want to keep that elbow locked out and then squat down all the way, stand up, all right? I would do my six, and then 
uh, when I get back to it, I would do six on the other arm. The V-ups. Start in a hollow position. Keeping the legs straight, chest and thighs meet in the middle. I can uh, substitute tuck-ups for these. So hollow, bend at the knee, chest and thighs meet in the middle. And then push-ups, good plank position. Make sure chest and thighs hit the ground and my elbows are locked at the top. Oh, I forgot if there's mobility restrictions for the overhead squat, you guys can do a lunge variation. So a lunge would look like this. Right, some overhead. All right, that's workout one. Workout two, hang power cleans. I do cleans with my kettlebell. So hike it back, pop my hips, pull it up into that front rack. Six on one side. Then I would go on and do my hops and then six on the other. Now the lateral jumps, all right? I'm gonna jump over my kettlebell. So one, two, three, so on and so forth. And then the last movement is the shoulder to overhead. So for kettlebell, I'm gonna get it in the front rack, dip drive, get it overhead, show full lockout of the elbow, knees and hips fully extended, bring it back to that front rack, and then overhead again. So if you guys are on social media, use the hashtag SCF virtual and stay safe and healthy.